Welcome to Walks with Riley. My name is Katie and along with my Australian cattle dog Riley, I go on, we go on hikes and nature walks. And in this video, I'm going to be going over the gear that I carry in the outside of my pack. And I'm going to be going over the clothes that I'm going to be wearing for my upcoming hike. And if you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button and subscribe. Thanks for watching. A couple more items that I do keep in my uh, front pocket of my pack that I kind of wanted to show. I have my Luchi, there we go, Luchi Empowered uh, Solar Lamp. This thing is very lightweight just like three ounces and it's solar powered but I've never really kept it out and charged you might not be able to see but it's on right now I've never tried to charge it and it just always is works just fine um, but it's cool because it pops up and I can put it I can blow into this and make it big and then it'll go in the tent and it'll light up you know my whole tent or if I'm cooking at night it'll light up that whole area um, it's probably considered a luxury item but I also have a headlamp um, just in case this is a clip type headlamp so it goes just right onto the brim of a hat and it does have you know different settings um, it has the red lights uh, for nighttime hiking it's super lightweight um, I've never ran out of batteries yet on a trip with this so it's been doing really good this weighs let me see headlamp clip from bushnell 0.9 ounces so less than an ounce for this and it is bushnell is the brand name this is riley's headlamp <laughs> this is a night eyes uh brand collar so it's a collar and you can press it and you can't really see it in the daytime but it lights up blue um, or it'll flash blue and white as well or blue it'll flash blue as well um, you really can't see it on the camera but it is um, on and this goes, goes around his neck and um, so I can find him at night and Hopefully it doesn't bother him too much because they're just little LEDs um, and it just is the LEDs are right here at these end at these ends and then it just lights up this whole bar. It's pretty cool. Pretty cool effect at night. Um, a quarter. <sighs> I carry a quarter because I was somewhere at like an Aldi's or something where I needed a quarter to get a cart and I had all this stuff I was trying to juggle and I ended up this is kind of embarrassing but I ended up like dropping something that I was carrying and it literally like exploded everywhere and I was so embarrassed I like tried to get some paper towels but it was Aldi so there's like there's like not paper towels anywhere and like there's a really long line it was just it was so embarrassing it was like a huge deal and <laughs> So now I just always have a quarter on me, whether it's at work or in my car or in my pocket, usually. But a quarter doesn't weigh that much. Let's see. Wow, four ounces? No, that can't be right. Okay, ready? No, let's zero that out. There you go, 0 0.1 ounce. And, um, you know, you can also use it if you need to like unscrew something. Like if you have a screw that's like a flathead or a Phillips head, you can actually use this to turn it. Riley says it's too hot out here and he wants to go in. You want to go in, baby? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Here are my sunglasses. Uh, these are cheap and if I lose them, I won't be mad. Uh, and another side story is we went down to Puerto Rico and we were hiking and I went through a drainage tunnel where it's like one side of the mountain and then like comes on like the other side of the road where the drainage tunnel comes out so I climbed through there there wasn't water in it obviously 
But when I got to the end, there was this giant spider web and I had my hat on. My sunglasses were on top of my hat. And when I took my hat off, because I was freaking out because of the spider, I flicked it and my sunglasses boom, went flying down the waterfall. So now I just carry cheap sunglasses that I do not care if I lose them. I actually probably will not wear these a single time, except maybe while I'm driving there. Um, just not a sunglass person, I guess. Okay, headphones. These are just like um, USB rechargeable headphones, wireless, Bluetooth, whatever you want to call it. Probably an item that I will not use. And if I don't use it on this trip, I will not bring them again. Another carabiner. Just in case, I'll probably clip this to the outside of my pack. Let's see how much this carabiner weighs. 0.7 ounces. So, it's kind of heavy. I might not bring this one. Uh, Riley's water bowl. So this is what I'm gonna have for Riley to drink out of. This will go in uh, the front pocket of my pack so it's easily uh, accessible and I will just squirt some water in here and hopefully he'll drink from it. I know him and he really enjoys creek water. I will do my best to prevent him from drinking from an unfiltered source but uh, I will have this hopefully as an incentive to get him to actually drink uh, filtered water. This is a solvent product. This is actually kind of heavy. I have a, another one in my food bag for food that I'll show you that is a lot lighter than this one. Uh, and lastly, that's always either on me or in the front of my pack is my minimalist neck knife. This is a um, CRK. It's pretty sharp. Um, it does have, you know, your little rope down here if you need it. Um, it comes in a nice little sheath so I can keep it safe. Uh, I will carry it on my neck if I if I'm hiking and then usually at camp I'll carry it around um, either in my pocket or, or around my neck and I like to basically I just like cut up my cut open my ramen or I'll cut open spam or I'll cut up cheese not doing any whittling or anything like that. Wanted to go over my clothes. This is just a cheap Walmart tank top uh, that I will wear under this, which is a really nice fishing, fishing shirt. It's 10th and Ocean. It's got the nice uh, vent in the back and it's got cool uh, little hook here in case I need to hook something to it. It's got pockets, which is awesome. They're little net pockets, so that'll be great for putting like snacks and stuff in. Um, next I have my pants. These are Columbia. Um, I've never done a hike in them yet um, because I usually wear pants. 99% of the time I wear pants, but it is going to be September, so it's going to be hot. So I'm going to wear these. They're more like capris than shorts. And I have my engine sock liners. I get blisters really bad, so I have to have some sort of liner. Next. Pajamas. These are cuddle duds. Pajamas. Super warm, super soft super lightweight so I will be wearing these um, as a underlayer if for some reason there's like a cold spell but otherwise they, I just sleep in these and I have extra shirts this is an exertion this is from Jason Penny again very light very cheap and I sprayed everything with permethrin a couple more pairs of socks my Darn Tufts, no. These are, yes, Darn Tuff. These are Darn Tufts. These ones are um, kind of like shorter, anklier ones. And then I have a taller pair that I'll probably wear on the first day. But I will bring three pairs of socks, which seems like overkill for one night. But 
I need to have dry feet. And here's my camp shoes. Super lightweight and they are like water water shoes. So if I find a body of water that looks inviting, I will absolutely bust these puppies out and go wading in the water and then a pair of my clothes get wet because I have dry ones in my bag. Also, um, I keep my anchor charger in my clothes bag because my clothes bag is always in the tent with me at night and usually fairly close to me because again, sometimes I use it as like a pillow or I'll put it in between my knees. Um, so I always have my anchor in there and any battery you have, phone, an anchor, camera battery, headlamp batteries, you want to keep them warm. If they freeze, they tend to lose their power. Um, you also want to keep your Sawyer squeeze filter in uh, the tent as well or in your sleeping bag if it's really cool. Thank you for watching Walks with Riley and I hope to see you next time.